What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lil Zane. New single, Must Be Nice, in stores now. And you're watching Ed Magic TV, baby. Yeah. It's Sam Boy, see it's Ed Magic TV. So the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. Hi, this is uh, Lynette Jones, and I'm here with Ed Magic TV and New Day Talk Radio. And we are here with Zane. So how's it going? How you doing? How you doing? Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year to you, too. Thank you. Yeah, very excited about this new year, man. Hope you are, too. Oh, I am. So what do you have going on? Man, just shot my new video for a song called Must Be Nice, one of my first singles off the new album. Um, and, you know, just here to support Snoop, man. Just been touring a lot in Hollywood, the Hollywood scene, doing a lot of shows in the clubs, giving back to the kids. I'm on, like, a school tour right now promoting education and to stay drug-free with the kids. And, you know, just coming out here to support the OG right here. Oh, that's good. So <laughs> so tell us, uh, you, uh, what future projects? Are you going on tour? Are you going to be touring yes, soon? Yes, we're getting on the road. Um, the tour starts in Southern California. We'll be going to, like, um, Cali, Sacramento, you know, Phoenix, all those type of areas. And then we're going to head down south where I'm from. Oh, and do Atlanta, Miami, and Tennessee. So you say down south over there? Yeah, you know, down south, ATL, shouty, what it is, shouty. So you must be a gentleman because he's a of southern course, man. Of course. <laughs> I was born in New York, Yonkers, New York. But before I got corrupted, you know, my mom <laughs> moved me to Atlanta at like 10. And since then, I've been ATL bound. Okay. Been in L.A. now for like five years, though, so... You know, West Coast love all day, baby. Tell us, what inspired you to even get into the music business in the first place? What inspired me to get into the music business was seeing other kids, myself, such as um, Criss Cross, ABC, TLC. They, they were all from Atlanta at the same time I was. And just seeing them being so close to me and being able to make it big, I, I just knew that this is what I wanted to do. Wow. Okay. So, like, did you have any obstacles or challenges or any? Actually, did you have any mentors growing up? Anybody to really push you into your one that my, direction? One of my good mentors growing up was Dallas Austin, and um, one twelve, of course, um, Puff Daddy, P Diddy. Now, excuse me. Um, but they really just took me under the wing and, and showed me, you know, how to handle myself on the road. That work ethic is everything. Um, you know, I, I get my. I guess my swag from Uncle Diddy, you know what I'm saying? So Uncle Diddy just taught me just to always stay swagged out. And, you know, and just the obstacles I came across was just being so young. And when you're young, people just kind of underestimate you a little bit. So I would never want to tell my age because I'm so young. People always <laughs> think that when you say you such and such, then it's like, oh, you got a lot to learn. You know, right. so just being so young in the business with a bunch of sharks and people older than me, that was one of my obstacles. But once I got in and I proved myself to be one of the hottest, new, promising, upcoming talents. Then I kind of started getting love from other artists. So that was just one of the obstacles, just being from Atlanta. And the South had just got started. It wasn't, there was no Gucci man. There was no um, Waka Flockas. There was no, you know, just all those big outcasts was just coming out. So the South, we, we had to gain our respect. And coming from the South, you know, it was hard at first, but now we run in the game. We run in the game. What's up to all the South <laughs> artists, man? T.I., hold your head up. Lil Wayne, what's up, man? And just, you know, everybody in the South, man, doing their thing. I got a lot of love for y'all. Well, you know, I had to ask you, what does your mom think? What did your parents think about this when you Are they proud My of you? My mama sure thinks are. I'm crazy. She thinks that um, I fly too much, I drive too much, and she don't know how I stay up so late. I go three, four days sometimes without sleeping, man. Um you know, I blame it all on my mom, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you put this in me to be a go-getter. And I think overall she's loving it, though. Just I'm out doing something besides being in jail, selling drugs. I'm out doing the right thing. Every day music changes. Right. You got new artists come out. You got the internet now. It's really... Sh when I first came out, there was no internet game. So, right. and that was only, what, 99, 98? Exactly. The internet wasn't really on it like that. But with the internet game and all these new young artists coming out, you got to stay relevant. You got to stay in the studio, stay current. And, um, you know, stay looking fly because you got the Soldier Boys and the Bow Wows and the Romeos, all those guys out there. So you just got to, you know, stay in the gym, stay fly. Exactly. Keep God first, too. Keep God first and everything will work out. Nothing, nothing can stop you. Right. Thank you yes. so much. Appreciate that. Peace.